First of all, I've been a long time AMD user. For about five years I've been using AMD products. Talking about just AMD drivers, I've noticed that AMD has had a reputation in the past of being known to have problems with their drivers. I'm currently using an R9 390X. I like Radian settings because it supports Vulkan. I dislike it because it doesn't seem to be working for anything else. But the thing about 17.71, which is a problem with all AMD Radian settings drivers I've noticed, is V-Sync doesn't work and neither does forced anti-aliasing. At least I don't see any difference. If anything, it seems worse than if I let the game itself communicate to the graphics card. And then they sent me an email saying, AMD sent me an email saying that they had just recently released 17.8.1. So I downloaded it, and instead of a smoother, even better experience than 17.7.1, every time I tried to load a game, my computer would just shut off like the power supply was bad. If I booted my computer up and used it for longer than 15 minutes, boom! It's like power outage. I was like, what is going on? And the only thing I had done differently was installed 17.8.1. So I decided to uninstall that since that's the only thing that I had done differently. Put back on 17.7.1. No more power issue problems. No more my computer just shutting off. No more weird blue screen. In fact, it wasn't even a blue screen. It was doing this weird, like, black like flash of green and then black and then power off. It was absolutely terrible and I know it was bad on my hardware. So when I saw 17.10.2 come out, they were advertising about how they were leading the way in technology and this was their best driver yet. Uh, so many problems have been fixed. They really, really just made it sound like this was the end all be all for 2017. So I decided, you know what, we'll give them a shot. GPU scaling didn't work, where on 17.7.1 it did. Anti-disting still doesn't work, which I wasn't disappointed because how can you be disappointed about something that's never worked? When I had downloaded 10.2, I was playing with my friends at Overwatch and the game kept freezing up. So I got onto Blizzard's Overwatch forum and everyone who was using an AMD graphics card seemed to be having this problem. And AMD's fix was to go back to the 7.1 driver. So I did that and I could play Overwatch just fine. When I was continued to read Blizzard's forum, they had said that they had contacted AMD about these driver issues and they were asking AMD to step up their game and get this fixed. And I just think that's absolutely ridiculous that a AAA company like Blizzard would go to a company like AMD and beg them to get their drivers fixed so that they'll stop having angry players claiming that Overwatch is crappy and doesn't work on their computer. They're always posting on their emails, leading the way in today's gaming technology, or leading the way in today's gaming industry, and I don't see how. 100% believe that AMD's worst enemy is not NVIDIA, it's not Intel. AMD's worst enemy is themselves. The only reason why I haven't sold my R9 390X is because Vulcan is best played on AMD graphics cards, and now that Doom has been patched to support Vulcan, and Doom is currently one of my favorite PC games, I've been very, very impressed with Vulcan API, and I do believe that Vulcan is the future of gaming because it, it puts the workload of the game on the GPU and not so much on the CPU. But based upon what I read on Reddit, the fine wine theory is that as long as AMD keeps using Radian settings, uh, they'll constantly be improving their drivers, which I don't get that because not all their graphics cards are now using the GCN architecture. They've moved on to the Vega architecture, but I don't understand how when you have the architecture for a certain graphics card, how the drivers that apply to that architecture can also simultaneously apply to next generation architecture of GPUs. It seems unrealistic to me. And I think it's why AMD drivers are having so many problems right now. So it used to be that Nvidia was more expensive because they were the name brand. They were like the Apple 
of GPUs, and AMD was the underdog that made really good hardware, but you were still getting your money's worth because they were a lot cheaper. That is no longer the case anymore because for some reason, AMD GPUs are in extreme demand because of cryptocurrency mining. As cryptocurrency becomes more and more popular, AMD GPUs will continue to skyrocket in price. I really do want to like AMD. After my Alienware, I bought a Dell desktop that was absolute crap, but I put an HD 7770 in it. Just loved the thing. I really thought it was a great car with a great driver, and it supported AMD's Catalyst Control Center, which is why I think I first started liking AMD. Once AMD moved on to Radeon settings, then I started questioning whether or not it was worth sticking with AMD. Because Radeon settings was still basically a new concept, and I had not heard of Vulkan yet, I was very wary of it. But once I researched Vulkan, I started to give it more of a chance, which is why I still have an AMD graphics card in my computer today. So I guess the whole reason why I wanted to make this video was basically just to raise awareness for people who are trying to decide between getting an NVIDIA card and an AMD card. There is really no good reason right now to get an AMD card, which is sad because one of my favorite forum websites, Tom's Hardware, almost exclusively recommends AMD cards, but I've been using AMD, nothing but AMD. They've been nothing but trouble, and I really, really, really wish AMD would do something to restore my faith in the company. But as of right now, I cannot in good conscience recommend to anyone who's watching this an AMD graphics card. So I don't know. We'll see what happens.